If you happen to have some recycled foam containers hanging around your house, I've got something really cool and really easy for you to try. All you're going to need are your foam containers, a piece of paper, some markers, a pencil, some scissors, and a damp, clean sponge. Now the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna prep my foam. I've got this meat tray, which I have cleaned very thoroughly, but I like this one because it doesn't have any extra print or pattern on it. So I'm going to take my scissors. Now that I have my very rough square shape, I can use my pencil to draw whatever design I want in it, making sure that I am pushing in, almost kind of carving out these lines here. Now that I have my design, I can use my marker to color in different sections. Now that I have colored my foam with marker, I'm ready to print it on my piece of paper here. I'm gonna take my clean sponge, which is just damp, and I'm going to start pressing and rubbing onto my paper where I want my stamp to go. And I don't need it soaking wet, I just need it nice and damp. See, it's a, it's a little shiny there. And now I'm gonna take my print, I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm going to press. I'm gonna rub it all over, but I'm gonna be careful not to move it. And then I'm gonna lift it up off of my paper. Oh, and I have this really interesting design with all of my lines popping up here. Now, if I don't like the way that this turned out, well, then I could just take my markers and I could try it again. And I can try it as many times as I want. Or, I can take my freshly colored foam and I can print it multiple times, creating a sort of radial design here. Making sure that I take my sponge and I wet my paper every time. The thing that I really like the most about these is you can make these from simple supplies that you have at home and it leaves room for error, which to be completely honest, I make a lot of errors. If I print it and I don't like the color the first time or if I think it's a little too splotchy, I can rinse this off and try it again. If I think it needs some more detail, then I can add some more pencil lines and try it again. The more details and the more lines you have, the better it's going to turn out. Now the trickiest part is going to be having that fine line between damp and too wet, but like I said, if you don't get it right the first time, just try it again.